my accident was a week ago at iTech we'd like to experiment with different things that's why we've been able to invent the things we have this experiment actually worked better than I expected you know it was just a safety strap that broke and the next thing I knew people were talking around me and I saw puffy clouds in this little window and then I saw helicopter blades going through the window and I realized I was in a medevac hel helicopter on my way to Shands Hospital in Gainesville near where our iTech R&D center is in Dunellen. I can tell you I've never felt this helpless before and the pain and the fear of drowning in my own saliva you know my compassion for paraplegics wow and and my new respect for doctors and nurses and my sweet wife Jenny and all my caregivers here's the update I'm scheduled for surgery tomorrow to try to relieve the pressure on my spinal cord that is keeping me from moving well I mean th actually this is this is a week's worth of work and people tell me that's that's pretty good but I know there's a lot of things I'm going to have to learn over again and some of them have to re relearn you know one of the big things has been just having people show me where my hand is People say lift your hand and I think it's on one side of the bed and then it turns out it's on the other side of the bed. How in the world can anybody move a hand that's in the wrong place? <laughs> uh, how to walk again, how to move my fingers. Well, I'll tell you what, in this last six days I have been through more pain than I ever imagined possible. But you know what the amazing and encouraging thing to me is that honestly, not one time have I wondered or wanted to ask God why this happened. You know, when we were interviewing Aunt Barbara Udarian for Beyond the Gates of Splendor, one of the guys that I took down to the jungle said, Barbara, here you were out in the jungles, a young mother, a young wife, had your whole life ahead of you, and then one day you find out that when your husband flew off with Nate Saint to make contact with another pe people group, that they had killed him. Your whole life had changed. And then what he said is, I just got to know, Barbara, when you ask God why, what did he say? You know what her answer was? Her answer was, well, you know, I guess it just never occurred to me to ask him why. And I just thought, how in the world do you get to that kind of point in life where you don't even ask God why when your whole life turns upside down? And now look, it's happened to me. You know, I know that God has compassion on his people whether they know they're his or not and he wants to have relationship with them and I think that if we're going to tell the world about Jesus that we're going to have to do it in new and creative ways that's what I've gotten to do over the last years but let me invite you if God is prompting you to get out there and get involved in the fray, then please do it. And if you've been looking for a place to find a home in ministry, let me suggest Team iTech. If you feel like you're all thumbs, <laughs> come on, join the crowd. I'm there too. If God's asking you to do something, help get out a newsletter or give so other people can go. I'm inviting you to be a part of iTech if you don't already have a ministry. 
Let's give him everything. No holds barred. Nothing held back. You know, he only expects us to give him what we have. For some of us, that's not very much. At certain points in our life, it's enough. Thanks.